Hello YouTube and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization 6. I am the game mechanic here with you as always. Uh, disclosure, not to distract anybody, please don't get to, please don't get too bothered by my sound issues. I've been having issues uh, with my setup lately, so my bad about that. Uh, but today we are playing uh, Lady Six Guy, one of the brand new leaders in the Frontier Pass. Uh, she is a specialty science sieve. Um, hopefully you've listened to the part zero video uh, where I go over my thoughts about all of her different abilities, though. Um, and here is our start. Here is where we're at. Um, I like to see a, a decent blend of potential districting, good 2-2 two -two tiles, lots of nice chops and stuff to go on here. Uh, only the one plantation. Um, we may have to surround this with observatories depending on what our, the rest of our land looks like. Uh, but having a having a luxury plantation resource on your home continent is a good thing. Uh, this is abundant resources and wet, hence hence all the chops and lovely things that we have there. Uh, first thing we want to do here is move the warrior. Um, we talked about the uh, opening decision here and where to settle a little bit. Um, it, it's kind of a toss up for me between here and here. Uh, this is definitely a volcano down there, so more productive tiles down there potentially in the long run. Um, Especially since none of this land is super productive. I guess a couple hills. Yeah, I think I think I like this settle just fine. It allows us to, to go on turn one. Uh, we settle next to a luxury, so we get a free amenity for our cap, uh, which which won't really matter till much, much later. Um, but lots of nice 2-2 tiles to grow into. We, we have both of our resources in our opening uh, tile suite here, which means that we should be expanding to whatever the, the most productive tiles are, meaning all of these 2-2s in our second radius should be expanded to fairly quickly. Um, Oh, nice. And we move towards double, uh, we move towards double ivory. So, um, maybe a temple of Artemis play is, uh, in order here. We do have a, we do have a, a reason to go after early archers anyways with our Holchi. Um, but regardless, uh, we will have to buy out to those tiles eventually. Do I turn to settle this? Because we could continue here and then settle down right here. And then have these tiles to work. That's an interesting thought. I don't think so. I don't think so. Can we build Rur in this city? We certainly have that potential. Um, not exactly sure. Is this worth the turn to settle? The problem is I'm never really going to be able to, like, get over here and, uh, like, buy these at a reasonable time. The reason I don't want to move towards this is I don't know what's over here versus I'm already seeing, like, a decent radius um, of, of, like, where our cities can go on, the, on this, like, on this wheel and, like, the wheel that we want to set up. Just trying to decide if it's if it limits us too much. I mean, I guess I'm not seeing a ton of productive land over there. Muth, dude, thank you so much. Welcome back for 16 months. <laughs> Yay, I am back, baby. Yay to finally remember your own password. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, buddy. Welcome on back. It's good to see you. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh, the one the one thing that's weird about Maya here is that your settler lens doesn't give you any information like it normally does, um, where you can like see coastal tiles and stuff like that. I think I'm going to settle in place. I think it's really close. Uh, but basically, if I settle in place, I can get my second city like right on the other side of this ivory. And I think what we're what we have is close enough to being good. This is obviously better. But I like the turn one settle, and let's just get going on our scout. Really, really close toss up there, I think. We can work extra gold and maybe buy an early builder, although I don't see a uh, farmable resource until over here with the rice. I think I think it's pretty close. Like this is a very similar tile to the two two. I do like getting to the scout two turns earlier though, so I'm gonna go with the two two. Skip the gold for the time being. And let's go. Let's go after our early archers. I feel like that is her strength, so that's what we do. Great Zimbabwe with all the cattle. That's a really good idea. You bring light in. 
this city having a lot of bonus resources and not a lot of like disaster tiles to get rid of them. Maybe we can keep that in the back of our mind. Okay. So very flat land over here, not loving it. Although maybe like maybe Chichen Itza Zimbabwe potential over yonder. Potentially. I'll probably sweep back down towards the river. There's another plantation. That's good. We are not finding a lot of plantations. And obviously that is one of the many things that we want here. Uh, but we create an opportunity for a, a district here potentially. We could even settle right here and do Zimbabwe things like that. This is Deity AI, Johnny. So four turns on growth, three turns on the scout. I kind of like that timing out perfectly at four turns here. Get a little extra gold in the meantime. We delay that scout one turn, so we split the difference between these tiles. And we get a little bit of extra gold as we're going here, and we can get started on a builder right away. How does appeal look? Probably low. Um, we have a lot of jungle over here. Yeah, appeal's pretty... Pretty terrible. I, because she's sort of limited in where you want to go with her, I don't find the Earth Goddess is a particularly good pantheon. Uh, I mean, if it's there for you and you've got the appeal to make it work, obviously it's a great pantheon. Uh, but I, I, I find that you're not going to have the flexibility that Earth Goddess kind of wants you to have. Let's move on to the hill here versus just the jungle. There are some plantations. Plus four campus, maybe. Maybe another one here. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, this Zimbabwe starting to be kind of a game changer. Not a wonder I rush to a whole lot anymore. All right. There's our first neighbor. Hopefully, it's just a city-state. Two turns on this. It is a city state. Wow, more plantations. Unfortunately, they're. <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> Man, Laventa is uh, smoking that incense like it is their job. Uh, that's a plus six observatory, potentially plus seven. So is this, maybe. Um, obviously not the strongest of, of plantation based luxuries, but still nice to see if you're Maya, you know, here's another potential observatory. And that is a first meet, meaning that our, our, uh, Pantheon is going to be on its way. So we like to see that. All right, I'm going to go single scout here and just get my second city. I find that when when you're you're a civ that likes to be tall and and we're probably going to go shoot for about 8 cities. Um you can squeeze in as many as 13 into the radius that she wants you she wants you to. And it is worth it to settle good cities outside that range. 85% of a city is still worth it in a lot of cases. Um you just want to make sure it's good enough has good enough land for the whole thing. Um but yeah, I think I like going right for the settler and trying to get those down early uh, and try to prevent being forward settled. Uh, this is a nice scout first move down here, but my warrior's coming back that way anyways. So I think we're going to go over here. Maybe up here then. So marble on our continent. Um, marble, ivory, incense, and cocoa. Pin your city radius. Uh, I mean, I can count it fairly easily. Uh, 
But because we've grown now, we are working both of these tiles. Shaving two turns off this settler is definitely where I want to be. Hey, there's our uh, there's our maze. So there's our farmable resource. I might want to cross. I might want to cross here next turn. Hmm. Weirdly enough, I don't think so. All right, 12 turns on this settler, two turns on animal husbandry. We'll probably have like horses. If there are horses here. I think we might have an interesting industrial zone thing going on. So this isn't much of a move, but it's kind of the same thing as going here. And it allows me to go here next turn versus maybe not. Oh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and settle the wonder. Those are some nice farm tiles. Apocalypse mode or normal? This is normal. I, I think Maya is really, really bad on apocalypse mode. Um, but in other games, we will be doing apocalypse mode. If there are no dogs in. Oh, no horses at all. Okay. Okay. The wicked king pursued the lovers Juan and Maria. So we have double wonders to settle? As he overtook them, That's pretty interesting. About that earth goddess then. That's kind of a thought. And a free builder. Seven girls were chased by bears. The bears were just about to catch them when the girls jumped on a low rock. One of the girls prayed to the rock. Rock, take pity on us. Rock, save us. So faith and production and began to grow upwards, pushing the girls higher and higher. Can settle this ivory maybe and get access to all this stuff. It's interesting. This is interesting too. Uh, I don't have anything to improve right away with this builder, which means I'm going to go build explore a second. Uh, oh, and somebody's already settled this. Huh. The farm. Yeah, I do have to buy that for the farm. That's not a bad idea. Although this next city, I, I might just bring this settler down here and farm this. And just use this guy for exploration. Although sh my cap's going to need that for housing, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But let's go after irrigation, I think. Not seeing neighbors, really. Hopefully this is a city-state as well. Oh, and a second continent. Oh, right here. Nice. That means we get another city on a second continent, hopefully. That's a big deal. It is Murica. Welcome to the United States of America. We don't like this. We don't like this at all. He's hard to uh he's hard to box out. That means my first city just has to come up here and block him. Not his capital. That's not a great uh, expand, though. So do I want to go down and around this and then loop back? Probably. A little bit risky. I could send him a delegation. Could have, anyways. Holy barbs, okay. Uh, yes, uh, yes indeed, somebody here. Um, Indonesia? Indonesia?
It's a lot of people right around us. Should you always send a delegation and open borders? It is. It, it depends on what your goal for the game is. Uh, like with her, I think I do want to send a delegation. She's pretty likely to like me. Um, we aren't going to be settling a lot of uh, like lake and coast cities. Uh, and so she should be a fairly fast friend. Um, she's on a different continent than us. Just for what it's worth. But yeah, I think with her, I will send her a delegation. It means I really want to come down and settle the wonder, though. Tobacco down here as well. Settler Pantheon with her is great, I find. We're already getting our Pantheon, so I'm going to bring in Urban Planning. Um, do have one scout out there. I'm more likely to need Discipline, I think. We'll start going after Foreign Trade. Hey, Salmons. Yep, new start for today. Where do I want this scout to go? So this warrior is going to kind of loop back around. We're already seeing some, like, most of our settleable land. I think I'm actually going to go west. Teddy would approve. Got to go west, young man. There's Lisbon. Construct a holy site. It's not great. So I always like to position my warriors in rougher terrain while fighting a barb camp. Just in case it spawns, then my, my units have a much better chance of surviving. So I think the move here, especially like getting out from underneath this volcano, makes a lot of sense. What sucks is we're never we're, it's going to be a long time before we actually acquire this tile. For the same reasons I liked the move in that we're going to expand to all these 2 twos, it means that we're it, we're going to get to this very very late. Yeah, we can we can keep parity with him with our combat strength, but he's still a, a, a bit of a brutal neighbor, neighbor to spawn next to. Not a ton of plantations. I think that's okay. We'll still have reasonable campuses. Loyalty issues up north. Yeah, you're always going to have that's that's a part of the drawback of, of the way that her kit works and the way she needs to expand and stuff. Loyalty can seem like a huge, huge problem for a very, very long time. Um, where do we want this city to go towards Teddy here? 
We need to start thinking about some of these cities. So we get a relic. That's pretty sweet. Four faith per turn now. So there, there, and there. So he's... Okay, so how do I... How do I make this work? So there's eight bonus resources here for Zimbabwe. Can't settle this. I could settle this and get them all. So this city would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight city, uh, Zimbabwe. What's up, Zog Zog? How you doing, dude? No, you can get relics from Goody Huts. That's a thing. All right, so potentially this with a Zimbabwe potential. So then... The city kind of sucks. But maybe this. So two, four, six, two, three, two, three. Does that work? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. No. It'd have to be this. Could also settle this and get two extra luxuries. Maybe. If you settle on the resource, does it still count with Zimbabwe? It does, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. No, the observatory does not get science from rainforests or mountains or anything like that. Yeah, th see, this doesn't... I know, I'll, I would have to shift. We'd have to shift things around. I need to discover the rest of it. I think the first settler does come up north here. Potentially, like, right under the Chocolate Hills. But I don't know if I can do that with the barbs here right now. So then maybe we're just grabbing, like, this city. Which, honestly, I think does go here. Uh, none of her sit. None of her cities get fresh water. No farmland over there. I really don't care about farmland. So we do have free settler. It's probably what I'm going to go with. What are other considerable options? I mean, we have some plantations, but not a ton. We have some uh, pastures, but not a not a not enough to make it worth it. I mean, our Earth Goddess is always nice, but I don't think it's particularly good for this game. Look at our look at our appeal. Like, we're gonna want to do a space race. I'm gonna want to chop resources and make mines, and that's really bad for appeal. I really think the settler here is great. Should help me with loyalty issues, too. I 
do I come settle this or try to, or do I, I guess I probably have to go double settle Teddy and just make a wall here so that he can't come bother me. Theoretically settle this. I don't know what that gets me at the moment, but. All right, I think I'm gonna need a couple units here. Deal with barbs and things. We're going to settle beyond the uh, six tile limit. Don't know yet. I know, Navi. That's that's my issue with the observatory. Like, I feel like you like it's not that like as far as unique districts go. It's pretty low. Like, again, it, it's dependent on tile improvements. And frankly, there are a lot of amazing ways to get science these days. So I just don't feel like it's that good. I mean, a half cost campus is always good. But like, I don't know. There's something about it. All right. I'm going to do that. Um, I think that we need the loyalty. Yeah, I disagree, game. I want you to work these. Actually, working the gold right now is not the worst thing. We're only giving up two production for six gold per turn. It's about right. Maybe I'll work the gold. See if this scout can help me settle here. It might be able to. The other option is to take the scout over here and get a little more intel on what my settles will be. I'm going to I'm going to scout with my scout for scouting purposes. In my farms. Is it reasonable to just settle this? One, two, three. I could do this and this. That's interesting. Hey, Hemlock, how you doing, dude? So this is actually reasonable. What if we do this? So you, 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 oops, <laughs> golden gate. Two, three, four, five, six. So this works. Yeah, all of these work. That gives us three. This city may rotate up two, three, four, five, six. Slightly worse Zimbabwe, but it might work. Actually, this is pretty poor planning if we're thinking about observatories, huh? We'd have better campuses with just a regular... Uh, uh, campus district. Yeah, we're a little bit light on that. So do I want to rethink it then?
Yeah, no campuses, huh? Just surround a campus with farms? That seems weird. This still potentially works as a Zimbabwe city. We could make it here. Settle there. Or this. And then I could settle this. Then we could move you. Here, and then we have better campuses. It's a little awkward. Theoretically settle all the way up here. Is there a reason to do that? It's actually not the worst idea. Very tricky city planning with her. What's up, Blurg Blurg? I don't really get too much from this, but I also don't think it's bad. Yeah, the stone works. I could theoretically get another city here. I mean, how many cities do we want? It almost feels like too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then that would be eight. I really do want just eight cities. Really just want eight cities. My best campuses are in the south. Stone is not one, two, three, four, five, six. Another barb camp for us to clean up. Really need to see what's going on here so I can make these decisions. I don't want to squeeze another city in here. It would it would be right here, right? Because I could do this. I could do all of these. But then I just don't think it's good enough. I, I think we're missing out on too many good tiles. And the capital might be worthy to do our uh, our, our, our plan of, of uh, vertical integration. So if, if that's the case, I still want this city to have a, a decent campus. So if I settle you here... Maybe we pick up some stuff. And then you could just move where? I guess I don't want that. Maybe we just settle this. Can put their campus there. I don't like that Teddy's taking my tiles already, but we could raise New York. All right, let's go over here and see if we can get a slinger kill. We also have barbs up north that we need to take care of, so let's get another slinger. Pick your BFF, Pierce Hawthorne or Jerry Smith. <laughs> Smooth Johnson, thank you so much for three months, man. Welcome on back. Um, probably Jerry. I'd hang out with Jerry. 
I think hanging out with Pierce would be confusing. <laughs> yeah, it does look like more of a, a Las Vegas than a New York. I agree with you there. I agree with you there. So we know this is a volcano. So there, there can only be so much interesting stuff around it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I settle the ivory. It's like just out of range. Had I settled this, we might be in a better spot. Hey, MP, how you doing? I'm, I'm okay. Is there anything you could do to make Chocolate Hills better besides like Earth Goddess? I'm trying to think. I don't think so, right? Yeah, this is just a uh, like a holy site wonder. Three turns on our plantation, and then I can move this dude. And what do we start with? Um, really love for them not to have to build their own builders, but I don't have a ton of options. I probably need the builder more than the monument. I think both of these guys are going to build builders. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a ways away from the policy, though. I could start with granaries, but the builder's just better. Like both of these have a, uh, a, 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 I guess just one housing. So this is where this is where I'm not familiar at all with her and what I should be going with first. Maybe I'll get a builder here, being that the wheat is in with, within range. But then, what's the what? What's it doing after that? Not much. I'm gonna start with monuments, I guess, and I'll try to have my cat build some builders for them. Could even bring this guy over and just give them each like one farm. Ooh! All right, we want that. That's a unit. Uh oh. I may have made a huge mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six. Petra City. Hey, Dar7. I've been okay, man. Will's Racing. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. You're going to move towards me, aren't you? No, you're not. So loyalty issues here, as you would expect. Um, I'm not going to be able to really fix that until I get the builder. Uh, probably use this and then bring that guy up there. Something like that. As an experiment, you could have one city build the builder and the other the granary. That's not a bad idea. Those are reasonable ways of learning things. Oh, that's awkward. Lots of dead tiles. We don't like to see that. Who do we meet? Brussels? 
Hey, Brussels. One more turn. What's up, Fresh Cut? How you doing? Yeah, I have a feeling he's going to come and try to fight me. Fresh Cut, dude, thank you so much for the tier three. Welcome back for eight months. So good to have you here. How, how's it going today? How's your, how's your Tuesday? Thanks for joining us. Tia Ferga. Thanks for hanging out. All right, so now we can get to five housing here, which is a pretty reasonable total, finally. Uh, we can also sell that luxury. Could try to sell it to Teddy if we want. I doubt he's going to do more. He, don't, he does not want it. So I will go ahead and sell it. Two per turn and then four. I love it. That's awesome, Fresh Cut. Yay. So frustrating to play her and have her near normal campus tiles. Yeah, I know, right? Like, we we would honestly be... Hey, man. Glad <laughs> to see you streaming. It's been a while. It has. I hope you're well. It has. But I've been very inconsistent, and I'm sorry about that, uh, Stray. And thank you for the $10. That is very kind of you. I appreciate that a good bit. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I mean, we're just going to come and steal this. There's the, there's the unit. There's the unit. Got our thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, or six. If we do this, we get like a four tile Petra. Meh. But it's not a bad idea because we're going to need to, we're, we're going to need something up there. I wonder if we're still just better off doing this. This is also a, a, a Petra of that magnitude. Pop, pop. Let's go. Let's start teching towards archery. I'm worried that he's going to come and try to kill me. My worries have been validated. I think we might be dead to Teddy here. As much as we do get to uh, fight against him fairly effectively as Maya, uh, we basically just negate it. Um, and I think we're probably out on too much of a limb here. Especially hunting the barbs all the way there. Which means I'm not sending the that dude up there. Um, hmm. We in trouble, you guys. I think he's too strong still for us to deal with. Like, this city is just gone. Let's just get out of there. I don't know that we'll be able to recover it. We can try. Let's see what our archers can do. Two, three, four, five, six. Not much of a city on there. This always has a chariot, but it's not going to help me here. I need this Eureka, so I'm waiting. That is a chariot. I need these to be archers if we're going to be able to retake this. Now we're fighting Lisbon. Hopefully not Brussels too. No. We're okay on them. I 
All right, let's bring back our units and see if we can make a game out of this. Next turn, we get archers. And what do I need to be building? Probably another warrior then. Just to try to retake some cities here. I shot an arrow. All right, so we have four archers. Unlock our campuses, maybe. It's either that or go towards swords. third continent that we just found um okay so now builder makes sense i guess the builder makes more sense than the granary for sure yeah he started it He started it, you guys. Not on me this time. The problem is, is that, yeah, she's going to come and, like, eat up my land down here, and we're going to be in a rough spot. <laughs> oh, boy. All the, all the uh, aggressors. All right, well, with our meeting of Scythia here, let's go ahead and put a cut in the game. Oh, well, we'll just meet everybody in the game. I actually don't want to meet everybody. We're getting very, very close to a golden age, which we're going to need if we're going to hold loyalty. Um, there's 10 turns on the end of the era. We just need one more era score. Uh, and we'll go ahead and put a cut in here for now. Hopefully our archers can come and uh, reclaim some lands up here. And uh, yeah. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you're watching over on YouTube, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. Come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.